Human behavior can be a mystery. Why do people and organizations behave in certain ways? Or make funny decisions that are hard to understand? Behavioral economics or insights are helping public bodies across the world to answer these questions and deliver better policies for better lives. Behavioral insights is not a trend. It's being rooted in public bodies all around the world. The OECD has already collected over 150 case studies. Public institutions have used behavioral insights in these sectors and more. It has been widely used to help in the implementation of policies and rules. Those using behavioral insight should adopt a set of standards to maintain the integrity, relevance and impact of behavioral approaches. The OECD has provided guidance on this. 1. Be strategic and systematic. 2. Start with good, reliable data. 3. Validate through replication. 4. Apply to segments of society for special or targeted interventions. 5. Evaluate. 6. Publish results, good and bad. Behavioural approaches should move beyond looking at the individual and focus on organisational behaviour in industry, regulated firms and public institutions. To find out more about the behavioural work at the OECD, go to our webpage and learn how behavioural insights are giving a nudge to better policies and better lives. just to use more empirical methods, the use of trials and indeed other kinds of methods too. I think it's a great development for all governments and I think if we're not using them, our kids will certainly say, what on earth were you doing? How can you do policy without introducing realistic models of behaviour and better empirical methods? So it's great. Well done OECD and from what other countries are doing too. So congratulations on the publication of Behavioural Insights and New Approaches to Policy Design. It's great that the OECD are collecting international examples of this kind of work that we can all learn from. For our part, here in Ireland, we're more and more pre-testing interventions, both in the field and in the lab. And some examples of our work are going to appear in the first editions of two new journals this year, Behavioural Public Policy and the Journal of Behavioural Economics for Policy. So look out for those. For us, two key aspects of all the work on Behavioural Insights has been the importance of not assuming that consumers always make rational decisions and then linked to that the need to experiment and to trial to find out how they do make decisions in practice. Having access to the many different case studies in the report can only be a good thing. We look forward to learning from the experience of our colleagues in other sectors and other countries and understanding what has worked well in different policy contexts and perhaps as importantly what hasn't worked so well. This can only lead to improved decision making. Thank you. This study tells us three important things. One is, where are behavioural insights being applied by governments and regulators? Secondly, it tells us where we need to know more. But the report also tells us something about where the behavioural insights agenda should go next. And that is thinking about influencing not just individual choice situations, but also thinking about how public organisations and regulated organisations can be influenced by thinking in ways which are informed by behavioural insights. It's great. Well done OECD and from what other countries are doing too. That's okay. Congratulations on the